Hey guys, I'm Ben Abraham, and I'm going to tell you some stories from the road. Pushed by my silence, watching you burn with the fire. I'm so tired of this. Uh, my first tour was opening for Emmy Lou Harris in Australia in 2012, I think. Uh, it was six shows around Australia, and I remember when I first got the email asking if I was interested, uh, I thought it was a joke. I didn't have a manager at the time, so the email just came straight to me. Uh, and I just said, hi, Ben. Um, I'm wondering <laughs> if you're interested in supporting Emma Lou Harris on her Australian tour. And I thought somebody's being very mean, uh, but they weren't. It turns out I actually was invited to open for Emma Lou Harris and it was one of the best tours of my life. All of that time it was wasted on your love. Uh, my, well, I do a Christmas show every year in Melbourne where I'm from and it's kind of a it's been running for 10 years now it's kind of a um, what do I call it I call it the Ben Abraham Christmas special it's basically just a big family get together hang where I do a set of my own music and a set of like holiday songs and I invite any friend of mine musician uh, who's in town to come up and play I've had Gautier, Vance Joy, uh, Missy Higgins um, a whole bunch of different kind of special guests get up and play songs uh, and it's always very fun. Um, and actually 2020 would have been the 10th anniversary, except it didn't happen because COVID is the worst. Uh, but it's actually probably my favorite show of the year because it's very fun. It's just a like anything goes um, kind of night, which is always the best, I think. It's less stiff and starchy. I should have said I've had enough. My favorite city that I've toured in was uh, I did a show in Berlin at the canteen, the Bergheim canteen. Um, and it was amazing. I mean, Berlin is just one of my favorite cities that I've ever been to. Uh, and then I remember the audience being so amazing that night. Like it was just one of those really, you get every now and then you play these shows where you really feel like the entire room is um, really engaged and part of it. And I remember there was this moment in the song where I wanted the audience to kind of sing something back and that doesn't always go down so well. But at this particular moment, uh, I remember kind of being like, and then you're going to sing this. And they just were like right there with me. And it was so good. So many things could have told The main difference between touring in a van versus touring in a tour bus is that a bus is a thousand times more comfortable. Uh, I did uh, my first ever American tour was opening for a guy called Damien Gerardo, and uh, I was in a tiny little um, van with my drummer and my keys player and my tour manager. And I just remember most of the time I slept in the back seat, um, just kind of squashed between the instruments. Um, and the most traumatic moment was the very first show in Seattle when our tour bus got, uh, our tour van got towed. And so we were an hour and a half late to the show. I had a 20 minute soundtrack, it was very traumatic. Uh, touring in a bus on the other hand, when I opened for Ben Platt, I got to do the full tour bus experience. And I loved it. Uh, I slept in the top bunk. I find them actually, I actually sleep really well in buses. Um, so I don't know. I and then it's just like traveling in a moving motel. It's kind of the best. I actually love both of them. I enjoy, um, I think when you're an opening act, it's kind of fun. I quite love playing for people that don't necessarily know who I am or know my work and then like trying to find a way to like win them over. Um, I, I kind of, I tend to do a lot more like stand up comedy at those sorts of shows, or at least I like write, whether it is funny or not is for you to decide. I, I write jokes and I try and present them in those sets um, because I find, you know, when you're, when you're at a show early, generally you don't really care about whoever's opening for the act. You're just kind of finding your seats and wanting to talk amongst yourselves. So I feel like I kind of like that energy. I like being like, okay, you didn't come to see me, but maybe you'll leave liking me more than the person you came to see. Um, so I definitely kind of 
try and go for that. And then obviously when you're the main act, um, that's really fun because you're just in control of the night and you, uh, you kind of get to do what you want. And I don't know, it's, there's less nervous energy I've found when I'm the main headliner because I'm like, you're all here uh, to see me. So I don't have to sort of prove myself as much. Um, yeah, I had a blast opening for Sarah Bareilles. Her crowd were very responsive to my jokes. When I toured with Emmylou Harris, I opened for her. Uh, I do remember once reading a review where someone was like, he kind of told weird jokes between songs. And I thought that was, it was funny that they didn't get it, but uh, anyway. Been a soldier, so many things could have told you. All of that time it was way 